Good morning. It's Tuesday, April 9th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When Change Becomes God. In our scriptures, 1 John chapter 2. I'm writing these things to warn you about those who want to lead you astray. But you have received the Holy Spirit, and He lives within you, so you don't need anyone to teach you what is true. For the Spirit teaches you everything you need to know, and what He teaches is true, it is not a lie. So, just as He has taught you, remain in fellowship with Christ. And now, dear children, remain in fellowship with Christ, so that when He returns you will be full of courage, and not shrink back from Him in shame. I'm fairly certain former Vice President Joe Biden never saw it coming. The now-candidate Biden has been the center of loose accusations that he, quote, made some people uncomfortable with his inappropriate behavior, unquote. Now, I'm not a big fan of the Democratic Party's approach to certain things, but I do believe it's time to cut Joe a break. He's only a few years older than I, and therefore we share the same decade's cultural expectations. In those days, if you didn't tug or have a warm heart, identified by touching an arm or shoulder to say, I'm sorry you're going through this, or I'm so glad that happened to you, well, you were considered aloof, snooty, or just plain uncaring. From my observation point, Biden is anything but that. Now, with my opinion, this is a blog after all, with my personal opinion aside, let me acknowledge that those women making the accusations are unequivocal markers that the world has changed since Joe Biden and Russell Brownworth were little boys or college students. And we both need to acknowledge that and give it due diligence that we take care to be like the Apostle Paul advised, abstaining from all appearance of evil. This is not to say that I'm going to cease trying to comfort someone who has just lost a husband or a child or another loved one. I just have to learn to ask first, would it be all right to give you a hug? In 1975, the hug was expected. Now it can be suspect of sexual harassment. The world has changed. Some of the change has been for the better, some not so much. On the better side is an awareness of personal space, behavior, and the hurt that can be caused by inappropriateness. On the lesser scale is a reality that it's hard for a man who was raised without those expectations to get used to the fact that most women won't even look at you on the street, and you can almost feel the hostility. Change is a two-edged sword. And yet, those with an activist mindset will tell you any change is better than no change. It's easy to see where that comes from. When you're stuck in a culture that demeans you, dehumanizes your worth and place on this planet, and keeps you under the oppressive thumb, activism may be the only legal resort to getting some relief. It's kind of a Patrick Henry philosophy. Give me change or give me a prison sentence. Either way, I'm going to have some change. On the other end of that spectrum are those for whom change is a four-letter word, so to speak. But that attitude, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, that can only take you so far. Sooner or later, change will come whether you like it or don't. And so for those who make change their God, because nothing seems to favor them or work for them or suit their desires... Be certain you're going to effect a change that's approved by the one who said, I am the Lord, I change not. When you run afoul of the one who gave you breath, just because you have decided changes in order, it is going to be his will that's done. And that can be a change that hurts. For you today. When you're working on change or hearing about changes, take time to run that beam of light back up to the source. Consider the effects of what the change is and how it matches up with God's revealed truth in Scripture. It might save you from a heap of regret. Change is not God. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.